<laughs> hey, good morning, everybody, and happy new year. It's a great new year, 2023. 23 is my lucky number, so I'm expecting big things for you this year. Not only in terms of sport fishing, I think all the signs are there for a great year, but also in your personal lives with prosperity and mostly good health and happiness. Those are things that you just can't buy. I know, you're wondering, what the heck is he doing in his car? And I'll tell you, I cannot find, I'm seeking refuge is what I'm doing. I can't find a place to record. I've recorded several times on the beach and the wind is so ferocious here on the first day of 2023 that uh, it was inaudible. You couldn't hear a word that I was saying. So here I am and for good reason because I've got some great info to share with you all. First of all, if you don't mind, give us a like this morning. We deeply appreciate you smashing that like button. It means so much to each and every one of us as it just elevates us on YouTube. And we are zooming ahead, all thanks to you. And 2023 is going to be a great year. Danny Cadota, of course, will be joining us here later on in the month as Danny and I took a little bit of time off for the new year to plan some great stuff for all of you. So that like button is super important. If you'd like one of our raffle tickets, just send me a text. Or if you'd like to join us on our January 6th kids trip out of 22nd Street Landing in San Pedro, California, on board the Monte Carlo, departing at 7.30, returning at 12 noon, just send me a text. And that's a free trip for you and the kids. So if you want to bring your grandkids or anybody for that matter, some deserving kids that want to come out and experience the great outdoors, please send me a text at 657-627. 6459. Just let me know if you want raffle tickets or if you want to join us on that trip or anything else that I can help you with. And on January the 6th in the afternoon from 1 to 4, we of course are having a little landing get together, a Friedman Adventures get together. You'll be able to see the El Patron, the boat that is headed to Puerto Vallarta to fish for a giant yellowfin tuna. You'll be able to take a look at that. Tom Durr's boat, the Judith Ann. He'll be there, and you can take a look at that fine vessel. Tom's got great discounts in the wintertime, and you can go out there with a group of five of your best friends and have a spectacular time. So that'll be January the 6th. If you need further information on that, just let me know. But that's 1 o'clock in the afternoon till 4. Come down and have a Coke or a hot dog on us, a cup of coffee with me, and we'll chat about fishing or anything else you want to talk about. How about $25 worth of of ops and fluorocarbon to the winner who can get this trivia answer. So I'm going to ask you a question. You're going to post the answer, if you know the correct answer, on our YouTube channel. Don't send me, don't text it to me, don't post it on Facebook. You have to post it on our YouTube channel. Post the correct answer. Now, assuming that a whole bunch of you get the answer right, which I think is going to happen here, we will have a drawing, pick the winner, and announce it tomorrow on the morning briefing. So time is of the essence. The trivia question is, who caught a barred perch live on the morning briefing just the other day? There was a guy, a special guest of ours, while I was doing the morning briefing, he caught a barred perch. Put your answer on our YouTube channel and I will send you 25 bucks worth of ops and floral if you are the one who is drawn. One of many, then we'll draw one winner, and I'll send that out to you right away. All right, lots to talk about. First of all, we have inclement weather just about everywhere. Tanner Bank is a mess. That area where those big bluefin tuna have been taken out of San Diego is messy also, although it won't stay messy for all that long. It has been really windy and it's going to remain that way for a little while. If we look at Tanner Bank, and I'll stay on the subject of weather for a moment, we're going to have a couple of periods of windows of opportunity that will be fishable, but it's going to be nasty here for several days, and then it goes back to flat calm, and hopefully, and I have no reason to believe it won't, that bluefin tuna is just going to continue to bite because it has been such a spectacular year. There's plenty of market squid there. That seems to be the magnet that is holding all that blue vin tuna there. So I think we're looking 
really, really good on that when we get out of this weather scenario. To remind you all, that bite out there has been mostly on 25-pound fluorocarbon, Opsin fluorocarbon, www.opsinusa.com. Put in FA at checkout. You'll get a love note from Greg Brown as well as a free gift. So keep that in mind. And uh, a one hook live squid, quarter to half ounce sliding egg sinker. That comes from our dear friend, Jeff Yeomans from the 540 Slingers Club, who provided this picture of Sean Adams with a nice BFT that was caught recently on board the Freedom out there when we had much better weather. So once again, that bite should resume when we get back to good weather, and it's going to be iffy all week long. There'll be a few windows. We'll see if anybody's going to run out there and catch a fish or not. Dave Maestro, great guy. He's donated a lot of clothing Always there to support Freedman Adventures. Love the guy. Just got back in on board the Intrepid. Provided us with some fine photos of some excellent fishing about 220 miles down. So down there towards Cedros is where they fished on board the Intrepid. And they had spectacular fishing. 100 pound with a sinker rig. Seemed to be a really good way to go. And Dave said, Phil, there is a biomass of 42 like over 300 pound bluefin tuna maybe even bigger than that they are there and they are biting we saw the polaris supreme here recently with a huge trip down there in that neck of the woods they've got their weather problems here for another 24 hours and then it mellows out and then it gets really really nice so those of you who are fortunate to be on a long range trip or a trip that maybe somebody's going to schedule and go down there and hit this it looks good and i get that from david and david knows what he's looking at and talking about so when he tells me there is a huge biomass of bluefin tuna down there i have got to be super enthused david thanks for sharing that mike good friend of Friedman Adventures was on board the El Dorado, went out to San Nicolas Island recently and caught his personal best, Sheep's Head. Mike, congratulations and Happy New Year, my friend. Hopefully we'll see you down at 22nd Street on January the 6th in the afternoon. But it was a great trip and Mike got that nice goat and I'm so happy to see that happening. Really, really great stuff going on. As you know, rockfish season is now closed because... It is the first of the year, so your opportunities for bottom fish is going to be south of the border. We've got blackfin down there in Punabanda, Ensenada area. They continue their assault on bottom grabbers like Bocaccio and Vermilion rockfish, treefish, whitefish, sheep's head, you name it, they're catching it. My friend Andrew Deal will be down there in just a few more days, and I wish him the best of luck with his brother, Phil. Hope they catch him. They'll have a great time no matter what happens, and it looks like their weather is going to be beautiful. It might be chilly, but we don't care about that. We just care about the ocean surface, and it looks like tranquil seas by the time Andrew gets down there. I think he's down there on the 5th fishing with our friends at Blackfin. Don't forget Costa Baja Sport Fishing. They also run out of there. That's a friend Diego Nuno from the Royal Star and Arnie Sport Fishing. Arnie does a great job there in Ensenada. That's where you're going to want to go to catch your rockfish from now on. Or the other option, of course, San Diego Base Boats who are running down the Baja Coast. There's been some bluefin down in that Colonnette area, a little bit further down. There's been great rock fishing, and there's also been some yellows on the Yo-Yo Iron, which is a distinct possibility when you go south of the border. San Diego Base Boats, Relentless, Sea Adventure 80, several other guys will be heading down into that neck of the woods. So that sounds really good to us all. In terms of half and three-quarter day boats now, they're going to be fishing sculpin and sand bass and that kind of thing. We'll see how that all plays out after this weather goes through. We're going to have very cold water, but sometimes if you have live squid, and most boats can get it right now, I don't think that's going to be a problem. And live squid is everywhere. Market squid is at all our islands along our coastal regions. I mention it just one more time again because it is a magnet that attracts and brings in predators. White sea bass, halibut, yellowtail, you name it, it all eats live squid. It sets up for another magnificent spring especially in the Channel Islands, but perhaps bleeding down into this area as we've got more squid down here than we've seen in quite some time. And that should suck some of those sea bass to Catalina, to Clemente, to Santa Barbara Island. I am banking on a huge year up there in the Channel Islands, but maybe we'll see more fish taken 
here in this neck of the woods. And some yachts previous to this blow have had some pretty decent fishing down there, or I should say at Catalina and Santa Barbara Island on halibut and white sea bass. Yachts, not the sport boats, have been picking off some pretty decent catches with that squid around. So that is all really great news. All right, everybody. Again, I had to hide in my car. It was so nasty out. And it's going to continue to blow here into the afternoon. It's going to kind of mellow out here this evening. And then as we look offshore, we're going to have periods of really nasty weather with a few windows of opportunity. We'll see if anybody can get out there and catch a bluefin. In terms of what we're looking at along the coast, and I'm looking ahead to Friday for our Monte Carlo trip, if the forecast holds, it's going to be flat, calm, and gorgeous. Maybe we'll catch a couple fish. Maybe we'll see a gray whale. For sure, we'll have a really good time with you and your grandkids or your kids. Six, five, seven, two, two, seven, six, four, five, nine. I can send you raffle ticket information. I can send you information on the Monte Carlo. And we will be releasing next year's charters here in the next 48 hours. You're going to want to join us on that. David Rosenthal out catching some stripers here recently. He had a lot of fun and provided us with these great photos. David is another guy who has, well, let me let me give you an example of David Rosenthal. Drops out three big, giant bags full of clothing from Mexico and then notices when he gets home that a shoe fell out. And so I have one shoe and he's got the other one. Most guys would say, hey, you know, that's life. Not David. He goes to the post office and boxes it up and sends it to us so we can marry those two shoes and provide somebody in Mexico with another nice gift. David Rosenthal, Happy New Year. And Happy New Year to each and every one of you. Enjoy this day. Remember, you got the whole year in front of you now. So make it a good one. Make every day count because we are truly, truly blessed to be here in this country with this kind of fishing with all our loved ones around us. It's really, really something that I count my blessings for. All right. See you January the 6th, my friends. Stay out of the wind. It's too nasty to be fishing. And that includes surf fishing. You do not want to be out on jetties or any other areas like that on a day like today. Thanks, everybody. Have a happy new year. And I hope to see you really, really soon. It's always fantastic to see a young man like Jonathan Morales catch his first bluefin tuna with the help of some great crew members on board the Amigo. He gets his fish and ultimately eats the heart. Yeah. Rico. Ospreys are raptors, birds that hunt other animals for food. But they are unique because they hunt fish. They're also known as the seahawk or the fish hawk, and they are magnificent to observe in nature. Fat one. Hell yeah. Man, you're on again. Nice. Hey, are you bit again? They're eating that crocodile. Big time. The crocodile works great on yellowfin. Watch out, watch out. Oh, oh. What in the hell is going on here? Another big bass on the boat. There he goes. Oh, that is just a gorgeous fish. Hey, I had to take a break. I've been catching past full speed. All of us have caught release. Wow! That is Not a gorgeous fish. Barracuda sure love to bite the iron, but heads up when there's one headed toward your face. Thanks oh. pinning you to the rail. Go 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 go! Nice fork, man. That's a good one. Can it get any crazier than this? 
This bluefin tuna in February of 2022 made its way into the beach around Punta Banda, and this smart fisherman walked out and put a gaff in it. Extraordinary sights along the Baja coast. If you want to catch more surf fish in Southern California, then you need to dig up sandworms because they are an outstanding bait. Find those little holes in the sand and then dig a hole. Cave in the sides and you'll find the sandworms. Nothing can resist them. Yes, coming up. Dad Leland's back. He ain't screwing around anymore. Freaking nice bar perch. Ah, life's good. Woo! Good job, man. Oh, Phil, I'm so glad you talked me into this. Oh. Woo! What a way to start the morning briefing.